Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises on the glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kakodash, the Lord is my elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well and teach well, being great as I'm such younger brothers. Peace and blessings to all full like low, willing we be a part of that number. I'm the brother Kodar from the Jimmy's Bench of Chicago. Come back with another video. This video is going to be entitled Pray Often. All right, it's, um, you know, the, uh, inspired by the elder brother Shikari and our camp, you know, and, uh, in class yesterday, you know, we just take just taking some notes on, you know, how important, you know, uh, prayer is, man. And uh, it's really like various topics, you know. But uh, that's one of the topics that really stuck out to me. All right, we gotta pray more, man. That's our that's our power source. All right, that's our way of communicating with the Most High. We got the name of Yahweh Bashimah Shai, man. All right, Acts twelve. All right, hey, that's the only way to be saved. All right, you gotta know the name of Yahweh Bashimah Shai, man. All right, we have the Lord on speed dial. All right, by simply praying to Him. All right, the scriptures say He that uh, turn up away from the law, even His prayer is an abomination. So the Lord isn't hearing these people's prayers, man. But we, He is hearing our prayers. All right, the scriptures say the prayer of the humble pierce of the clouds. All right, so we have to we have to be in the spirit of praying more, man. The Most High is cracking down on a lot of things, man. All right, it's um, Acts. 12 and 1, and it says, Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church. All right, so in our persecution, verse 2, and he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. All right, so he was slain. All right, he was the first disciple to be killed. All right, um, and because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread, so they snatched Peter up. And when he had, all right, he was the head of the church. It says, When he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people alright it says um, Peter therefore was kept in prison but prayer was made without ceasing of the church and to the most high for him alright it said prayer was made without ceasing alright so they came together and constantly prayed alright for the most high to deliver Peter man alright you know Peter was praying alright verse 6 and when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, between two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison. So, like, give me one second. All right, so, like, uh, it says, uh, Verse, yeah, verse six. Let me double check this still recording. All right, cool. It says, when Herod, who had brought him forth the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the kept the, the prison. Verse seven. Behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side and raised him up saying, Arise up quickly, and his chains fell off from his hands. Then the angel said unto him, Gird thyself, and bind on thy sandals. And so did he, and he said unto him, Cast thy garment about thee, and follow me. And he went out and followed him, and was not that it was true which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. When they were past the first and second word, ward, they came unto the iron gate that leadeth into the city, which opened to them of his own accord. And they went out and passed on through one street, and forthwith the angel departed from him. And when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I know of a surety that the Lord hath sent his angel, and have delivered me out of the hand of Herod, and from all the expectation of the people of the Jews. All right, that word expectation. All right, we can go into that word for expectation. All right, because, um, hey, let me turn this on. Because they ultimately wanted the, um, the uh Peter Peter out of there man. Alright. Um yeah, let's get to that word expectation. It says um expectation, whether good or evil. Alright. So they knew that Herod wanted to uh, to slave for furthermore slave more of the disciples, man. All right, and then an angel came and delivered him. All right. Hey, so 
that's that that shows the the power of prayer man all right let's read the strong definition is by it says by implication infliction anticipated expectation look after so they was anticipating for the disciple to be put to death man all right now just out of um just wanted to get this word quaternion gotta look into these words man it says um The guard consisting of four soldiers for among the Romans. This was the usual number of the guard to which the custody of captives and prisoners were entrusted. Two soldiers were confined with the, with the prisoner and two kept the guard outside. Four quaternions of soldiers will be used to guard one all night, one for each of the four night watches. Okay. So two on the inside, two on the outside. Um, okay. Let's grab uh, Luke 18. In our verse one, he spake a parable to them to this end that men always to pray and not to faint, saying there was a, in a city a judge which feared not the most high, neither regarded man. And there was a widow in that city, and she came to him saying, Avenge me in my adversaries. And he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, Though I fear not the most high, nor regard man. Um yeah, because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her lest by continual coming she worry me, right? So that's a perfect example of how we gotta con we gotta bug the most high, man. The apostle said all the time you gotta constantly pray to the most, you gotta bug him. For him to get to, you gotta throw up them supplications, man. Ask the Lord to bow down his ear. Alright, as our righteous forefathers always say. And hear the supplications of his servants, man. Alright, you gotta you gotta like you gotta keep nudging them. You know, like a child nudges their parents. You gonna buy me this, you gonna buy me that. You remember you said you're going to buy me this. All right, verse 6. And the Lord said here, what the unjust judge saith, and shall not the Most High avenge his own elect, which cried day and night unto him, though he, though he uh, bear long with them. All right, the scripture says, like all right, Ezekiel 9 and 4. All right, those who, uh, who, those who sigh and cry for the abomination being done in the midst thereof. All right, it says, which cried day and night unto him, though he bear long with them. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. All right? So the Most High is going to avenge us speedily, man. Hey, but that that comes with us praying, man. All right? We got to constantly pray. That's something Apostle uh, G uh, Nagabar, all right, which all the apostles go into that, obviously. The Apostle Rakah going into praying, man. You know, he, he goes into that heavy. All right? Tobit 12 and uh, verse 7. It is good to keep close the secret of a king, but it's honorable to reveal the works of the Most High. Do that which is good, and no evil shall touch you. Prayer is good with fasting and alms and righteousness. A little with righteousness is better than much with unrighteousness. It is better to give alms than to lay up gold. All right. Pray and fast, man. Certain situations require you to pray and fast for the Lord to reveal to you certain things, man. All right. It says, verse, uh, we hey, we literally got all the tools. Verse 9, for alms doth deliver from death and shall purge away all sins. Those that exercise alms and righteousness shall be filled with life. All right. So the, the importance of prayer, man. All right. Matter of fact, next to the line I had, um, this First Thessalonians 5 and 17. It says, pray without ceasing. All right. Verse 18, everything give thanks. For this is the will of the Most High and Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, concerning you. All right. Constantly bugging the Most High, man. Constantly bugging him. Hey, the Lord, remember the promise you made to your servants. All right. Remember the promise you made to Abraham. You already said you was going to deliver us for your name's sake. All right. Got to remind the Lord these things, man. This Psalms. Fifty-five. Just give an example of our righteous forefathers. All right, constantly praying, man. All right, this is King David, um, Psalm fifty-five and verse seventeen. I'm gonna start at sixteen. It says, "As for me, I will call upon the Most High, and the Lord shall save me. Evening and morning and and at noon will I pray and cry aloud, and He shall hear my voice." All right, so this is the, uh, King David saying this. Now let's go to um, just to back that up. Let's go to Daniel six and ten. 
It says, now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house and his windows being open and his chamber towards Jerusalem. Keyword. All right. So he was facing the east. He kneeled upon his knee three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before the, his power as he did aforetime. Man. All right. Then these men assembled and found Daniel, Daniel praying and make a supplication before his God. All right. Hey, so, um, hey, so Daniel also prayed through, all right, evening, all right, or no one at night, man, so three times a day, and if your mind is always on the Lord, you're going to pray, all right, when you wake up, before you go to sleep, before you leave the house, while you're driving, before, while you're going home from work, wherever you're going, man, all right, that's why it says pray without ceasing, man, that's why it's important not for a man not to have his head covered, man, so he can always pray, all right? Gotta always pray to the most high, man. Apostle uh, uh, Rakat is always going into that, man. All right. I accidentally put that twice. Yeah, man. All right. Hey, we gotta constantly call upon the names of Yahweh Shemal Shai, man. That's something I'm telling myself. It's good to say he that water for water for himself also, man. All right. We can't be unprofitable to ourselves. All right. We make these lessons for uh, to edify edification. All right, and it's also to edify, edify others, but it's also to edify us as well. All right, so with that, I want to evolve praise, honor, and glory. I'll tell you how about Shema Shah, about Shema Kakudash. I pray this lesson is edifying. Shalom, Kwame Asherado, I bow the ball. And double honest to the Apostle Elders Great Millstone, of course. Shalom, Kwame Asherado, I bow the ball.